Welcome back to the charismatic voice. It's that time of year when we party till we drop. Or if you're like me, you go to bed at exactly the same time and hope that the fireworks don't wake the baby. Regardless, even if I'm not at the party, I love balls. Dancing, right? That's what the song's about, right? Let's get to it. Right away, from the beginning, I like the way it feels like it kind of winds down and then winds back up, and we get that that nice kick in there that is saying that this is going to be some sort of pretty epic fun song that maybe has some degenerate content. That's a fun album cover. I like the way they came to that resolution. Well, I'm the upper, upper class high society. God's gift to ballroom notoriety. And I always fill my ballroom. The event is never small. The social pages say I've got the biggest balls of all. I've got big balls. Uh, this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. I, I thought we'd have some more just, just standard singing. And it's, it's almost got like a tenacious D kind of vibe where it's half spoken, half sung at times. And it's just totally irreverent. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. Oh my goodness. Uh, how does one vocally analyze this? We're gonna find out. Well, I'm upper, upper class high society. Definitely sounds drunkish. Well, I'm upper, upper class high society. God's gift to ballroom notoriety. And I always fill my ballroom. The event is never small. The social pay. I'm trying to figure out what makes it sound just so sloppy. <laughs> I feel that. It isn't just going down or going up. It tends to do with like a, a bunch of wavering. My goodness, I don't think I've ever tried to define like what exactly sloppy is before. Of course, this is purposefully sloppy. So is it really sloppy? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm upper, upper class high society. Hey. God's gift to ballroom notoriety. Yeah, a lot of times I'm hearing ba 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 like there's almost like a seal <laughs> or a seagull, both of them. There's like a little extra go down and then a little swoop up at the end. <laughs> well, I'm upper upper class high society. Very high society. God's gift to ballroom notoriety, and I always fill my ballroom. The event is never small. The social pages say I've got the biggest balls of all. I oh my gosh. I just realized how brilliantly he said biggest balls of all with the pitch center. <laughs> Everything from like woo 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 woo. And then it has this slyness to it because he drops it down in pitch and drops a little wine out of the voice as well. It's, it's, like, it's such a great sly way to set that line apart. <laughs> <laughs> and I always fill my ballroom. The event is never small. The social pages say I've got the biggest balls of all. <laughs> I've got the big <laughs> balls. I've got the big balls. They're such big balls. And they're dirty big balls. And he's got the big balls. And she's got the big balls. But we've got the best balls of them all. And my this would be such an incredible karaoke song. For those of you who are deathly afraid of karaoke, you just go up and basically elongate the words. You don't have to be on pitch to make this song sound good. 
You just have to go up and do it with a bunch of confidence. And let me tell you, if you just do it boldly, it's going to work. <laughs> it's going to work. Oh, man. I I want to see some chick nail this song. I just got to say, that would be a, a karaoke event I would definitely watch. Oh. My ballroom always full, and everybody comes and comes again. Wow, that was some great enunciation on uh, comes. It really sings through the, the end there. Uh, beautifully uh, executed nasal consonant. Oh man, I just almost said so many wrong words. <laughs> and my balls are always bouncing, and my ballroom always full. <laughs> boing, boing. <laughs> Perfect, uh, perfect addition of distortion there, uh, and it's great. I mean, I think that fireworks on on at big parties are are very nice. No one can take you higher. Everybody says I've got great balls of fire. I've got big balls. Oh, I've got big balls. And there's such big balls. Fancy big balls. <laughs> And that makes a difference. <laughs> Just, I gotta say, there's so much cheekiness to <laughs> these lyrics. This is brilliant. I thought we were gonna get a little more, like, straight up clean singing. And I was thinking, how do I define singing even? And singing is, I often talk about it as just sustained sound. There's this big discussion of uh, is is uh, if it's exclusively harsh vocals. So we're not talking about the true vocal folds. If we have maybe just the false vocal folds making sounds, or uh, perhaps the area epiglottic folds. If it's just harsh sounds being made, is that singing? And I think yes, it is singing. It's sustained sound um, that's made by the vocal tract. Uh, in this case, though, it's a little like I'm like yeah, I guess this is singing if I wanted to apply that same definition, but it's not sustaining at the same pitch level because it feels like it's more like extended spoken word that's not, uh, maybe I need to change the definition of sustained sound to maybe be a, a sound that's sustained at a similar pitch at various times. Anyhow, uh, this I like that from a seemingly um, innocuous song, uh, we have a very serious, Serious question about singing and developing. <laughs> no one can take you higher. Everybody says I've got great balls of fire. I just wanted to point out again that he is once more accenting that incredible line, good punchline there, uh, by actually dropping it lower and then adding distortion. <laughs> oh, one more time. There we go. Everybody says I've But when they're held for pleasure, they're the balls that I like best. <laughs> my balls are always bouncing to the left and the to kid the with the right. bouncing. It's my belief <laughs> that my big ball should be held every night. Oh my. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I, I will admit that I started reading the lyrics and then stopped because I didn't want to ruin the song. I got the gist of it. It was like, oh. Uh, that needs to that needs to be experienced in real time. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go back a little bit. I forgot my train of thought. <laughs> some balls are held for charity and some for fancy dress. But when I gotta say, I appreciate the nod to charity in here. It's like, yeah, good, good job, good job. This feels like it's not just self-centered. Balls and she's got big balls. But 
But when they're held for pleasure, they're the balls that I like best. Again, it's this actually sort of brilliant expression pattern that he's using that he's like, ah, blah, 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 gets out the big moments um, with a very high pitch, the most volume as well. But the moments that are actually going to catch us, he reels us in before quietly-ish delivering them at a lower pitch. It's really fun. It feels like we're being brought into the joke. It's like an, almost an inside joke, even though it's very much not. Ah, I really like it. It's good humor. Good delivery of it. Some balls are held for charity and some for fancy dress. But when they're held for pleasure, they're the balls that I like best. My balls are always bouncing to the left and to the right. It's my belief that my big ball should be held every night. Oh, we've got oh, big Bon balls. Scott. <laughs> we've got big balls. We've got a little chorus in there? I like the way this has just grown to include more and more people throughout. That as as a ball should grow to include more and more dancers throughout. Um, also, this dog is so cute. I, I just noticed all of these people have stuff across their eyeballs, but the dog apparently is all seeing. <laughs> May you all have as much fun listening to that song as I just did. That was ridiculous and fun and irreverent. And I think it's a great way to celebrate the holiday season. If you want to see some more analysis of irreverent songs, you can check out this playlist over here. And may you fall more in love with music every day and every year.